Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at who the Rangers drafted in the 2021 MLB Draft. Now, at the time of recording this, I don't think anyone has officially signed with them yet. But of course, if that does happen, I'll put a little note on screen or in the description or something. So, a lot of the top guys have not signed yet, so it's not a big deal that rangers haven't gotten anyone yet uh it just seems to be a thing typically a lot of the guys in about this range you know like 10 to 15 rounds will have signed um once again i don't know that for the rangers but just generally speaking i have seen a couple guys who've gone in the later rounds sign some deals so the other note i'd like to say before we get into it is this year they cut the draft from 20 or excuse me, they cut it from 30 to 20 rounds um, due to COVID in some ways. And the MLB and the MLBPA both agreed on it. So they cut out the last 10 rounds. I see no problem with that. 30 is a lot. And really, at the end of the day, you only want the guys that are going to sign. So having extra rounds only lowers the chance of someone actually signing, at least in my opinion. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. I don't even need to say the top guy, Jack Leiter. I mean, for that alone, I think their draft is automatically starting at an A+. Plus, you know, Jack Leiter, best pitcher in college baseball last year, all the hype. And I'd like to preface this as well with I am nowhere near a draft expert. So take my opinions as you will. But it's a pretty universal consensus that Jack Leiter was a good pick. You can see some info about him here. He looks just like his dad, Al. So pretty good stuff for Vanderbilt. And Texas got him. So that's all that I need to know. And coming in for the 38th overall pick, which you can see um, the rankings here compared to where they actually ended up. Leiter was right there. You know, He was ranked two and picked two. Aaron Zavala, on the other hand, got picked considerably higher than he was ranked. Uh, he was a, I think, All-American, maybe, but he was also Big 12, or rather Pac-12 Player of the Year and a Golden Spikes Award finalist. So, pretty good stuff, hitting 392 in 2021 and slugging 628. I mean, what even is that? So... Another outfielder for Texas, they have plenty of those, but can't get a shortage on that, you know, and there's some guys that are coming up now too, international signings, um, I think his name is Luis Angel Acuna, and he is Ronald Acuna's brother, doing phenomenally right now in single A, either single A or the fall league, but very exciting, his swing looks just like his brother's, but I'm getting off topic anyway, so Aaron Zavala... <laughs> Aaron Zavala, good pick for Texas in that spot. And a lot of people were messaging me and saying, why are we not picking pitching for, like, everything? And, well, the Angels actually kind of did do that. <laughs> Their first 15 rounds were pitching. But you'll see in a second here that they got plenty of pitching. I'm not going to go through every single pick because you all know how long I ramble on for. I mean, we're already, like, almost four minutes into the video here. And I've gone through two picks. So I'm not going to go through all of them, but we'll kind of skim through it. So you'll see another pick here, Cameron Cawley out of Barbers Hill High School in Texas. Shortstop, high school senior, and uh, let's see what it says about him. Because honestly, after the top two guys, I don't really know <laughs> anything about any of these players. Um, I posted about all of them, but... I digress. So you'll see Kali here, five foot ten. You know he's a five A state championship, four point two seconds home to first. So he's got some good speed. And as far as shortstops go, Texas is not uh, looking for anything anytime soon. They have Isaiah Conforlefa, who is a defensive Swiss Army knife. You know he's leading. I believe he's leading the whole majors in run saved at shortstop so they've got a, at least five or so more years of him if they decide to keep him 
um, as well as a, many other prospects coming up. So that was a shortstop pick. Then they got a catcher, Ian Mahler, uh, who went to Wallert High School, and he was also picked higher than his ranking. I'm not sure which rankings they were used here, because then you can see Mitch Bratt was way above his pick, pitcher out of Georgia, Premier Academy. Uh, oh, it doesn't say... Oh, yes, it is. Left-handed pitcher. <laughs> so left-handed pitcher... Then right-handed pitcher out of Alabama, another right-handed pitcher, left-handed pitcher, then another catcher down here. Um, and I'm like I said with these rankings, I'm not too sure how that all works, but it seems like they picked guys that maybe would be considered a steal. You know, this is almost a hundred places higher than <laughs> he was ranked, so. I will link this below if y'all want to go through the entire list because some of them, like for JoJo Blackman here, it has a little bit of a description on them. But I know that me going through every single one of these would be an incredibly boring video. So I just kind of wanted to talk about some of the top guys. And I think they did a great job. Like I said, a lot of pitchers here, which is good because we all know that the Rangers need pitching. Uh, I thought this was funny as well for any NASCAR fans out there. Kyle Larson, but it's spelled with an E, not an O. So that that name caught my attention. Uh, but yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, they did pretty well with drafting here. And they mixed in a good variety, a couple catchers, a shortstop or two. Um, but no, no just generic infielders or first base or anything. So I guess they're really focusing in on some of those positions i'm not sure how long term isaiah will be at short but they're they just got a few more options if even a couple of these guys sign and as i mentioned at the beginning always good to have outfielders always good to have catchers and always good to have pitching so let me know what y'all thought of the draft what they did and even what other teams did, like Kumar Rocker falling all the way to number 10, which was shocking to me because I thought he would be top five with uh, Jack up there, his teammate from Vanderbilt. So with all that being said, though, I will talk to you all later.